Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another overall weekly spirit reading from February 15th to the 22nd. And like you know how I start all my free spirit readings, I start with a direct spirit message and then we get into all the cards. This message is so important that I'm actually turning on the camera. It's so early in the morning. It's the first thing that I'm literally doing even before coffee. That's how important it is to myself and to the message. And um, for the first time, I am actually talking to you as I'm setting up. Um, and if you don't want to hear the announcement, the message, and what I'm about to announce, uh, a change to the channel, you can always feel free to fast forward. And um, But what I'm about to say is very in line with the actual message itself. So the message for the 15th to the 22nd, and it also could be what you're personally experiencing as well. And I'll explain the spirit message because what I got was deeply processing, deeply processing, and not only that, but deeply process, deeply processing kaleidoscope. So when they said kaleidoscope, it meant, you know, remember those kaleidoscopes you would look through and it would be glass and light and colors and shapes. And as you shift, the images, the light, and all of that would change. And as you're looking at it, and as it's changing, you have new thoughts, new feelings, and you keep doing this and doing this, and that is your own personal experience as you are deeply processing the kaleidoscope. Okay, let's now go to the announcement, keep that in mind, and go to the announcement I wanna make about this channel and a change I have to make. Um, and most of you know I do the spirit pick-me-up readings and those are using all my free spirit cards and then I started doing the quick dose of spirit readings. So the other day the quick dose of spirit readings started getting flagged from you, the YouTube. Um, they don't have human beings, it's an algorithm in this day and age. Um, and I guess the terminology is quick dose maybe or of spirit, I don't know. But something with the inagul what is it? The algorithms. I don't know what they're picking up. Um, maybe that it's medicine. Maybe it's what. It, the bottom line is they don't understand that this is a quick dose of spirit for the soul. You know, for a spirit. And so they're flagging my videos. So the announcement is I have to change the name, and I think I'm just going to call it quick, quick spirit pick me up reading. It's not a big a, a, a deal. But when this first happened, I looked at the video and I saw, you know, maybe a handful of people saw the video at that point. And I was thinking, okay, a handful of people, it's already flagged. Not many people are even, why am I even doing these videos? That was my initial feeling. It's so, you know, and then I look and I see that it had down arrows, you know, thumbs down. And I was like, Compounded with the fact that why am I even doing these videos? Nobody really cares if I do these videos or not, right? Some people who do see it, they're just so quick to give me negative and they're literally videos of love, a spirit pick me up, um, all of this. And I'm like, why am I even bothering? <laughs> I'm getting, you know, it's like I'm getting flagged from YouTube. I'm getting thumbs down. It's like, uh, am I the only one that is enjoying this, right? Why am I doing this? Why am I bothering? And then I was like, but YouTube can't pick up, it's a quick dose of spirit for the soul, but it can pick up a down arrow, you know, negative down arrow. And then you go even further down the kaleidoscope, my next feeling was those down arrows don't in that, uh, and the, uh, you know, their technology, it counts it as participation. So the people who give me negative thumbs down that I look at as, of course, negative, and it feels like a smack in the face because it's like, why am I even doing this? I'm getting negativity in return. Like I deserve, I don't deserve that. That's where I'm coming from. It pushes a personal button in me. That's my personal experience. But in reality, uh, that algorithm counts that as participation. So that actually is a positive for my channel. But going further down the kaleidoscope, the people who did it, did it with the intent to make me feel badly. You know what I mean? They went out of their way. I don't even know if they listened to the video. I don't know. Um, it, I don't know exactly what it means. I don't really sit, but part of it is this period of time, it's deeply proce processing kaleidoscope. So, I was like, okay, so they, they, they did have the intent though, 
to give a thumbs down, no matter how it was counted by YouTube, and no matter what my experience was about it. You know what I mean? So I just uh, told you what it made me feel like. But, um, and then it pushes me to be like, well, no, I'm not gonna stop just because of, you know, how ridiculous is that, a few down arrows. And, well, and now you're only focusing on that. And what about the lovely feedback you get from people? And what about the uh, what you feel when you do the readings? And you'd be doing these readings whether you were making a video of it or not, because it's part of you. And down the kaleidoscope, deeply pros processing the kaleidoscope, right? So at the end of the day, what I decided at the end of this whole journey and experience and thoughts and feelings deeply processing this kaleidoscope, I'm merely gonna let you know what happened. I'm going to change the name of the videos. I'm gonna continue my videos and I'm gonna change, you know, which instead of a quick dose of spirit, it'll be a quick pick me up. And that's it. But this very message if you're still here listening to me, I want to thank you because you listened to the journey. We had a shared experience of what it means to deeply pro be processing this kaleidoscope that we all do, and we all do it privately. And there are going to be, even right now, many people who fought, fast forward this part, they've never heard it. There are going to be some that just give me a thumbs down on this video without even listening. And there will be some that will just be fast forwarding to the part that they care about. But at the end of this deeply processing kaleidoscope, if they do, they've never seen, heard, or witnessed my personal experience of deeply processing the kaleidoscope, that kaleidoscope of the feelings and the thoughts and everything else to get to the end conclusion. The end conclusion being my announcement mm -hmm. that I'm merely going to change the quick dose of spirit readings to be a quick pick me up reading and you'll see that on my channel. But what a journey to get there. And then at the very end, it was brought home to me how important that deeply processing kaleidoscope is, no matter if it's private or shared. It, and the process is such an experience. It is a deep dive and you come out with a new awareness and strength or resolve whether you shared it or not. So what this was, how I, why I went so deep into this process with you of this kaleidoscope, this myriad of like feelings and thoughts and everything else is to illustrate this point all the way home the way Spirit did with me to try and share it with you so it wasn't just another private uh, you know, experience of how I got to a conclusion and how beautiful we shared an experience, that experience, because it's not. So what this means for you during this week, and it could be before, during, after, but through this period, you could be deeply processing kaleidoscope for yourself, where it's like deep diving. It's almost like what you think and feel that just formed this picture, right? Like it saved this picture, but it's breaking away into to a kaleidoscope where you can separate and dissect and dive deep, just like the example I gave you. And you come out of it, you might be like, what the heck was that ride? That was like thoughts and feelings and it was just a kaleidoscope, but you do come out with such greater perception and perspective on things. Um, and it's a beautiful journey. So though it's a ride, and I don't know what the planets are doing, but you could feel this in your personal, you could feel this with deep diving into old stuff, old things about you, what you've experienced, old buttons being pushed, or um, seeing what you think and feel in a very dissecting, deeply processing kaleidoscope way, that at the end of it, you have a grander understanding. And I'll leave it there. But if you followed me through, we're 10 minutes in, I'll put it in the description. This is a 10 minute, I've never done this, but that's how elaborate this, that spirit message was, deeply processing kaleidoscope. And if you're here to the end, I thank you so much for you know, supporting me and sharing my experience, caring enough to listen. And, and you know what I mean? And to even just be hearing this as an example. I think that's a beautiful thing. We literally shared that experience of what that feels like when it's usually just personal.
and it's exactly 10 minutes in. Okay, let's get into the message. 15 to the 22nd, deeply processing kaleidoscope. Um, let's get into the archangel messages, but it was so funny because I'm still, I took one sip of coffee, I couldn't wait. This was all a conversation ride that I had while waking up. I did not have to write this spirit message down. I did not have to write that experience down. It was like embedded in me how to even convey it to you. Um, I just, I mean, it just came out. Um, I did not, I forgot even in my haste to turn the, put the do not disturb on my phone. If this video ever gets interrupted, it will be a part two because I'll never be able to redo what I just said. Never. <laughs> that was, um, you know, that way. No. So hopefully I won't get interrupted with any phone calls. Okay, 15 to the 22nd of the Archangel. Okay, so we're going to tap into the Archangel messages. We're going to tap into the energy. We're going to get the guy, goddess guidance. We're going to get what to surrender. We're going to get messages from heaven. And we're going to get the guardian angels. So remember, deeply processing kaleidoscope. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, but it, it takes everything that we are, all our thoughts, beliefs, and we're deeply processing everything we're seeing, hearing, living. This is like 15 to the 22nd. It's, things are changing, shifting, light, literally like a kaleidoscope. We're coming out with greater wisdom, greater understanding. Um, greater abilities even and more of ourselves at the end of the day like at, just like that example at the very end I knew where I was looking at that kaleidoscope like what I was going to do at the end of that experience even though that took me on a ride of much bigger understanding okay so let's get the 15th and the 28th the archangel messages right away at pentacle energy we're getting the three of ariel this is cooperation all working together i keep calling this the new major arcana for this time this is cooperation through work so you could be working really well with other people at this time finding new collaborators this is definitely a get to work together like all together kind of energy cooperation um so the divine is working with us very often i think the three of pentacles the divine is backing us in our partnership in our, what we're working on and also of course with others showing your work project work working with others everyone is in a very cooperative or trying to be in a very cooperative manner or it would be more beneficial to be in that cooperative stance has been a recurring message that's how the best things are getting done right now all working together do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. And that is the new major arcana for this time, is to come from a very, you know, it's you, me, and all kind of energy. Everybody is working together. It's the new major arcana of our time. I've been saying for a year now, um, that three of pentacles. Um, so this is great for all your projects, for your work. Uh, working with others, you could find some great support for your work. Their, their efforts are being supported, I even want to say, too, because when I get that, like, now they're all coming out. Okay, oh, look at this nostalgic card here, the past. It could be elements from the past. We have major kind of strength, 11. This is the strength here, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness major arcana so this is like holding your own almost like that deeply processing kaleidoscope but knowing where you stand at the end of it um you you come out of it with more strength so anyway the strength card um we always got that whitney houston song i didn't know my own strength there is strength here through kindness right self-confidence bringing that to your projects and your work especially and also to the past because here you know it caught my eye for the first time it literally says forgiveness which i've never associated with the strength card for some reason i always say strength with kindness um but with forgiveness and then we have the six of raphael it could be really about things from the past like i said that deeply processing kaleidoscope where it's like we're going forward and back at the same time with new understanding um six of raphael embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships children or childhood this could be relationships from the past coming through it could be work projects from the past that are getting you're bringing a new strength to it you're bringing a new awareness of strength and kindness 
combination to it. So it could be your relationships. It could be past projects or work. I don't know what the planets are doing, but it's bringing back a lot from the past to be finished, completed, redone, bring new light to it, bring new strength to it. Um, it's that. So it's working very well together, bringing new additional strength from the present moment to the things of the past is what I'm getting from your, to your relationships, to your projects. This is beautiful. And this is how they want us to approach the 15th to the 22nd. Yeah, it's coming. It's bringing that new found strength from past experience to the old projects and relationships to get us out of the five of Ariel. Yeah, we have to bring more of all we are. We rose, we came forward, we didn't know our own strength. We're bringing it to the past relationships projects that need to be worked on all together to get us out of the five of Ariel, where we think we're separated and cast out from what we need, the abundance we wanna create. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Hope is nearby and negative thoughts are creating self-fulfilling prophecies, but we're working together in a cooperative manner in your projects and relationships to get out of this five of pentacles, not having what we need and want and abundance. That's literally it. I mean, the cards are just being very, very on point. So let's get some additional, we're working our way together to get out of this lack of abundance, feeling of lack of abundance to these new opportunities, new ideas, new projects, um, things to uh, literally the ace of Ariel, Ariel, ace of pentacles to get us out of the five pentacles we're bringing in the new where the divine is giving us the new to work on um it's your lucky day there are new resources money time support a change in job or promotion there could be new ideas or new things to work on in the physical that will get you out of the five of pentacles so you create more abundance and you have the strength for it you have the strength for it so this could be People from the past that have a new jobs projects for you to, to work on with them, with that three of Ariel. You have the three of Ariel, the eighth of Ariel, the sixth of Raphael. It could be people from the past coming back to say, let's work together. This could be in your personal or your work or your projects to bring new life to it. It could be brand new offers, support, money, jobs coming in. And it's from the strength, we have the strength to get past and go forward with all these new projects. Oh gosh, I knew we were gonna get it because we're moving on, we're moving on. We're moving on from the past, we're moving on. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you and it's a spiritual quest. Look at that, look at that. We're definitely moving on and do what you know is right for you. That was like the example of what I said when I went through that deeply processing kaleidoscope and at the end of the day, I did what was right for me, but I did look at it all with strength, looking at the past, all the feelings, coming out with a new idea, new way to go. You're going to find this in your work, in your personal, you're working, you're moving on for better to make things better, especially from the past. We have the strength to move on and go forward now to create more abundance. We're working in a cooperative manner or choosing to want to bring more cooperation, especially to things of the past. And we have the new one. Why? Because we are the strength of the Empress, birthing the new. And this is time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded and luxurious, abundant resources. So make no doubt about it. Two major arcana. We are birthing the new here to get create new abundance. We're working together on new projects, especially to move forward and on from the past or bring new strength and Empress power to things of the past to birth more abundance. This could be in your work. Um, especially your work, your projects, what you're working with with others to create more abundance for yourself. We're literally the empress in our strength as the empress. It's beautiful. Um, let's get into the energy of the 15th to the 22nd. 15th to the 22nd. Oh, gosh, right away. Yeah, look at that. The garden and the gate. We made it. We're moving on. The garden and the gate is moving. It's been a long road to the gate, and we're going into the field of abundance and the as the empress so not only do we reach the garden and the gate like the eight of raphael we're moving on to create and birth more but here's that field of abundance we're going through and that's what they're saying that's so beautiful going from the five of ariel where you're outside and have lack you've reached the garden of the gate of fertility of birth of field of abundance you have strength to create it 
yeah, and appreciation. Wow, wow, wow. Do you see this energy? So it's like we're moving on. We're in our strength as the Empress, Empress to birth our abundance, to work together and create more in the physical. Garden and the gate and appreciation. We have more appreciation. It's like that deeply processing kaleidoscope inside and out where you're standing with more appreciation for yourself with more strength in your empress abilities and also it's being reflected to you it's the journey physical journey itself you made it through the garden to the gate the fields of possibilities fields of abundance it reminds me of the nine of pentacles energy you're creating this as the empress and it's appreciating you're walking away from more you're creating here's the ace of ariel it's coming in to create more abundance in a cooperative manner and you're in your strength and in your empress power to have this appreciation this field i gotta go right into this goddess guidance of advice as we stand there it's like going to the garden and the gate getting into the gate creating your abundance and standing strong in your empress power yes I made it to that gate I made it to the field here I stand as the empress with new strength moving forward past the past to these new opportunities for growth getting me out of this five of Ariel feeling cast out and it's through a cooperative manner with others and also the backing of spirit that's the great the three of Ariel right your efforts have been back this whole time. You're here to work in a cooperative manner to create this abundance. And we have two more. We have, you can't make this up, purification and past life. This reminds me of the six of Raphael, the past, and eight of Raphael, new life and clearing the way. It is a time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. This reminds me of the deep processing of the kaleidoscope for some reason. Is when this is we're clearing out. We're seeing it all from a higher perspective. See how she's risen and she's divine here, and it's releasing. You're purifying. It's time for that cleansing, that detoxification of your body and soul. And I would say it's that deep processing kaleidoscope of thoughts, feelings, everything that we've held onto for this past that we need to release as we move on. Right? We're birthing the new here as the strength of the Empress. And we have past life. The situation involves your past life memories. Yes, it does. We, it's a deeply processing kaleidoscope. There was the Six of Raphael. There are things from the past that we're definitely purifying at this time. Those came out together. So there is a deep processing kaleidoscope of all thoughts, feelings, ideas, things of the past, experiences that are there being purified, cleansed, released, and we're getting, you can't make this up, strength. Be strong, strength. I mean, this is at the core. We didn't know our own strength. We're moving forward with more strength now to create our abundance, to move past this, to create and have more in the physical, be strong. You're stronger than you think you are and your strength is sure is a happy outcome. Look at the strength. Um, we're moving past the past, purifying, and we're creating additional appreciation inside and out. This is the deeply processing kaleidoscope. We're forever changed and now mo moving forward with more strength to create more in the physical in a cooperative manner, right? For ourselves and others, moving past the past. Um, let's get the, what can we surrender that would help us stay in our strength? This is all about divine power. Remember they kept on saying, I've never talked so much about divine power. Claiming your divine power, moving strong as the empress you are, right? As the empress you are. Here we go. All through this whole experience as the divine empress you are, bringing in all this in the physical, in a cooperative manner, right? Bringing this appreciation. Look at how strong we are. And this looks like a chariot. It's like a chariot, divinely activated, moving forward with more strength in your empress power to appreciation. Backed by spirit. What can we surrender to stay strong as the empress? How can we? The divine is so backing us. Look at this. Surrender to joy. Surrender to joy. Surrender to lightness. Remember we had that purification? Look what it feels like when we let go. Um, a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Keep surrendering to those spirit pick-me-ups. <laughs> they even made me, um, you know, give you that whole example in the beginning 
Uh, surrender to what gives you joy. At the end of the kaleidoscope, the deeply processing kaleidoscope, I was like, no, these videos give me joy. It makes my heart sing. It makes me feel light. I have I stand in appreciation even if no one else watched this video. Um, that was the deeply processing kaleidoscope, right? Where I came out with more strength than Empress. You're feeling that too in your personal and your work. That was just a, you know, a small example of what the energy is. Do what fills your cup. Do what makes you feel more free. We have purification. There's a lot coming, letting go now so we can move on. Go with more joy. Allow more joy in. You know, it's been a recurring message to provide for yourself exactly the counteractive energy of what the world is. If you need more upliftment and joy in these times. Yeah, surrender the resentments. Surrender the resentments. That was like a whole ride that I was talking about before. The deeply processing kaleidoscope. Um, what can we purify? The resentments that we have, right? Of everything, everyone, the whole, what we feel, what we think. Um, that is a deeply processing kaleidoscope. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. And I would say fly, fly to positive uh, situations to your life. Uplift your own spirit, let the resentments go because we are in the power of the Empress. We can create that for even ourselves. We can move that way ourselves in that Empress energy. Do you see that? Backing our own strength, creating even more strength, purification, letting go of resentments and feeling more joyful. We can create that as the Empress even in our own journey. That's powerful strength. Let's end this with messages from heaven. I have goosebumps because that's the deeply processing kaleidoscope they want us to get on multi-dimensional levels. Messages from heaven. That's what I feel like this whole from beginning to end was. And thank you for sharing my deeply processing kaleidoscope from beginning to end the spirit message, the experience to this, because that is it. Being strong in your empress power for yourself, for what you're not, not just what you're doing, but uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, what you're doing in your personal, your work. We are to be the strong empress, creating that and more for ourselves and others right now. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, let us hug you close your eyes as we hold you close this means that your spirit guides loved ones passed on are really close to you there, and people in the physical are very close to you but i, I have to say if the loved ones passed on your spirit guides are very close to you close your eyes as we hold you close you could be and here again they're doubling down we have fun and you too must enjoy yourself surrender to joy is going to be a real message to surrender back to joy upliftment they want you to lighten your load. We have purification and surrender to joy. So if I don't know what else to say uh, to let go of resentments and we're getting a lot of comfort animals, if that's relevant for you who's watching, let the animals on earth support you. Feel their unconditional love. The earth, animals, everything else in your life is trying to feed you unconditional love at this time. Um, so you may be finding that um, in a very amazing way that the, that the earth, the animals, nature, yeah, they're trying to take care of you to help you with your empress strength. The the earth and the and animals and nature the, and spirit is supporting you to stay in your strong empress power. They're feeding you that nurturing um, as the soil of the earth would, would support a flower, they're supporting you in that fashion. And they're saying, take the time to pamper yourself or let others take care of you. So take real divine self-care of your energy. Um, take the time to pamper yourself has been a recurring message uh, of your energy, of, you, of everything, your body, mind, spirit. This has been a recurring message. So you may need more time to rest, relax, to deeply process. We're in the state of, again, purification. Um, so you may need some more here. We have purification, you know? I mean, so be kind to yourself, be compassionate to yourself. As they're providing unconditional love for yourself, for you, 
you provide that for yourself because you take time to pamper yourself or let others take care of you. And underneath the others was all about animals and earth and spirit telling you to lighten your load, purify, and find more joy. Um, so you're more in your strength as the empress as you go forward, moving on with the eight of pentacles to create more. And then spirit is backing you with aces of aerial, cooperative energy to have more appreciation. Um, getting out of the five of pentacles, moving on. They're supporting your abundance. They're supporting your abundance, literally. So pamper yourself too, you know. So let's end it with guardian angel messages. Guardian angel messages from the 15th to the 22nd. Supporting your strong empress power. The universe is supporting you to be a strong empress. Strong empress. We have three. Yeah, because... Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You're torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love and what you think you should. This is the um, deeply processing kaleidoscope, but you do emerge every time in your strength as the empress. <laughs> They're supporting you to do that. Self-criticism, yep. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate toward yourself. What did I say? They're supporting you with, with um, this unconditional love, and they're asking us to do the same for ourselves, especially when we're purifying. We're in this deeply processing kaleidoscope. They want us to purify and surrender to more joy. Come back to your strength as the empress. You're creating more in the physical. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate toward yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you're less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exist in all things. This is part of that deeply processing kaleidoscope I spoke about. That's our conflict and self-criticism. They want to bring it new light, new um, shifting of perception and perspective so that each and every time you leave that deeply processing kaleidoscope stronger in the empress spirit <laughs> purified with more joy do you see what i'm saying that you walk away from it creativity we your creativity the empress this is birthing creativity basically literally creativity is rewarded yeah you can't make this up. This is why they want a strength and creativity. You cannot make this up. Creativity is rewarded. That's why they're backing us to be stronger in our empress. We, your angel, angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. And that was why they made me share with you deeply processing kaleidoscope of feeling and emotions because we do this personally, privately all the time. There are almost no words in the English language to understand what they do with us in our insides, right? With our thoughts, feelings, and emotions to have a stronger in an empress way to be more creative. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun. We had have fun. Surrender to joy. Allow the inner child within you. We even had the six of pentacles and it could be coming back to you know, the past, the inner core of you, the inner child of you. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. And that's what they're getting us back to. The core inner child of us is divine creativity and the strength of that. And they're asking us a million times to surrender and have more joy, to have more fun, um, to let go of self-criticism, to nurture your own creativity, to stand in that. That's the strength, to come out of everything, to come back more in your empress creativity power and unleash it. <laughs> and what a journey to get there. That's why we, but the journey itself emerged us with more strength to stand in that. Um, surrender and out of joy, um, new things coming in to create more abundance. It's a very cooperative energy um, and it's even divine backing uh, for this creativity because we're co-creating this. And I wish you the best from the 15th to the 22nd and stand strong in your empress power. Take care. Bye-bye.